Today we're hopping into ranked seasons again, but I'm not allowed to use a base overall of 99. We have to use 98 overall cards or lower for this video going for 198 or more likes on the video subscribe if you're not already on the road to 100,000 subscribers comment down below maybe some players that we didn't use because there's a ton of them right there's so many i feel like i used too many lefties for example for this team i feel like i used too many of these team affinity cards right here and just this kind of same card art that y'all see right the all-star game for this year card out i feel like i used too many of those but here's my position players both the bench and the starters and then here's my rotation and my bullpen definitely let me know some guys that if i do this challenge again that i should use maybe instead of the guys that i did for this team because there's quite a few options right there's a ton of guys that we did not use we could even go lower i could say hey maybe i can't use any 95s or higher right like we can always change it there's plenty of options for us to do i feel like it would be kind of fun to not just use only 99 overalls so uh burp bly 11 was my only pitcher that was not not full energy right he was the only pitcher that had full energy we're facing degrom and i think it might even been parallel five for some reason i still can't hit versus jacob degrom i'm gonna try my best we're gonna see how it goes but i have struggled against him a ton mad bum coming into pitch for hopefully the second inning let's try to jump out to an early lead three pitches all out of the zone and i still strike out that's embarrassing and that's not gonna happen again and on a full count we watch strike three and i meant to mention this i think we kind of did during the intro if a player has been paralleled and then that gets their overall up to 99 that's not what i'm counting i'm counting it as their base card overall for example ken griffey jr the milestone version his base overall is 99 every player on this team's base overall is 98 or lower that's what we're going off of we're not doing anything with the parallels that overall or anything i'm only focusing on the base overall so hopefully that was clear from the intro but in case it wasn't i just wanted to try to clear it up right now as we have a terrible top of the first inning man i'm hoping that we can pitch well and keep ourselves in this game because i might still be in that hitting slump hey hey hey, hey good strike out if we could pitch well that's good man because we'll ev we'll eventually start hitting and scoring runs i think all right, good inning on the mound. We're going to go try to get our first hit of the game now. Break up that perfect game. It's crazy to me that at this point in the year, after having seen him so many times, I'm still just garbage versus Jacob deGrom. Oh, there's our first hit. Yeah, perfect game gone, no hitter gone. All because of the shift. I'm glad we got it out of the way, though. That's a huge weight off my shoulders. I can focus up now. I can lock in. I can start trying to work on this lead. Or we could just chase the very next pitch. Okay, I'm going to have a much better eye rest of the game, guaranteed. But Bly Levin's done. He's got two lefties at least in the inning. So we're going to go to Madison Bumgarner here, our second pitcher of the game. One batter, one strikeout. Oh, man, our perfect game's gone now. That's sad. We're going to try to get a double play, though, following the one-out single. Striking out Corey Seager. I got a perfect release there. But I'm having a very difficult time for some reason timing up Mad Bum's release, as y'all can see. It's just not really going super well, and I'm not quite getting these perfect releases. I'm a little bit early. But after two, it's 0-0. I feel at least one run coming in this inning. I don't know what it is. My toes, my knees a little bit. I feel at least one run here. Jazz Chisholm. I got a pitch to hit. I'm late. The PC guy's not on the ball. Now, normally I would pinch hit for Mad Bum, but as y'all can see, he's got some decent hitting attributes. I just want to see what happens. If we could get a hit, we get a hit, but if not, I'll be going to the bullpen anyways. Oh, he gets a hit. Somehow, he gets a hit, man. I will take it. It's going to be a double. Oh. Oh. Oh, he gets a double. How, man? Yo, all right, man. So, so no, I'm not. Wait, I'm not gonna pinch run for him because I want to be able to use all these pinch hitters. Never mind. I was gonna pinch run, but it's all good. Oh, he's. Oh, he might beat it out. He's gonna beat it out. Come on, dig, dig, dig. No, we should have beat that out with 99 speed. I'm sad. All right, Trey Turner's my last hope to try to drive in this run. Wow. I am a little bit lost of the plate right now. Finally striking him out, man. We have some foul balls in that AB. We get the punch out. DeGrom coming up now. 
DeGrom out number two. And Mickey Mantle makes it 1-0. I'm down to my final 15 outs in this game, I think. I think that's how math works. Besides the home run, it wasn't a bad inning, okay? But after three, we're down 1-0. I got to hit a little bit better. I've been terrible at the plate. I've been chasing so many pitches that I wouldn't normally chase. Like that one, I would have swung at that in the first three innings. So we really got to change our approach, lock in. My opponent dotted up the outside corner twice. Two fastballs in a row. So in my brain, I was kind of ready for that pitch. And it's in the area. And then it just drops down, man. Pulls the string on that change. Nasty pitch, man. Nasty sequence. And our opponent's just making me look foolish right now. Hey, man. I will never strike out more than once in an inning for the rest of this game. I'm getting all of my strikeouts right now. The rest of the game's going to be magical. But this inning, it's a little bit bad. But the rest of the game, trust me, y'all. Y'all got my guarantee that we only will have one max strikeout per inning. As we actually get a base hit. I chased a pitch, but at least we got a hit. As our opponent strikes on the side. All right. I'm only allowed to strike out once per inning. Max. Next few. Striking out Chipper Jones. Babe. Babe Ruth grounding out. And striking out Brian Reynolds. Wow. I'm really sad we gave him a home run. Because otherwise, this game would still be tied. Our opponent's not hitting either. We're both having a hard time at the plate. Oh, man. That's better, though. Good timing. Like, I haven't been getting good timing recently. We get a hit, too. Okay, no, that's way better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's way better. All right, leadoff single. Let's drive him in. Come on, team. We got double our opponent's hit hits right now, and we're losing. We're going crazy, and we're losing. As Jazz Chisholm, our number eight hitter, tries to come through, man. He's got a great swing, but I'm making him look terrible, man. My opponent can throw there and there the rest of the game. I won't get a hit. No way. At least it's not a double play. Wait, 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 wait. Did I use Bru I think I only used Brewstar for one inning. I don't know, man. We're going to pinch hit. I think it's our first pinch hitter of the game since we let Matt Bum hit. I got Jock Peterson and Eddie Rosario. I got to go Eddie Rosario, man. Jock's got a great swing, but let's see how Eddie does. I was waiting for the pitch, and I'm still very late on it. Isn't that insane that I can be looking for a specific pitch? and still not hit it at least the pci was there but having that late timing is so sad as we strike out man what a waste of a pinch hitter i'm disappointed in myself for sure as lou brock with a base hit okay we got two on two down trey turner hit it well man i can't believe it that's probably my best hit ball of the game and it's straight to the shortstop at least we're doing better though i felt a lot better that inning let's keep pitching Let's try to win this game. We still want to win for sure. One pitch, one out for Andrew Miller. Two pitches, two outs for Andrew Miller. That means y'all are going to see the third pitch going for a three pitch inning. Adley Rushman coming up. I'm probably going to regret this pitch, but I'm just going to go sinker in the zone. He swung out it. He wanted it, but we couldn't get that three pitch inning. But eight pitches is not bad at all. And it's still the same story. After five innings, besides the home run we've given up, it hasn't been a bad game on the mound at all. There's my one strikeout for the inning. I don't think there was a pitch in the zone that A.B., but three pitches, three strikes. At least it's not a strikeout. That's, that's really all I can say at this point. I'm just happy we didn't strike out more than once. Left Andrew Miller in for DeGrom. I figured get that lefty-lefty matchup. And now it's time to go to Alex Reyes. I used him a ton earlier in the year. I'm hoping I can have some success with him today. First batter he sees is Mickey Mantle for a strikeout. And now Mike Trout for an out. Okay, after six, it's 1-0. I am a little bit scared that I'm going to get shut down at this point. Y'all have seen me hitting. Like, this is this is frankly embarrassing. I, I hope you guys are enjoying the video, even though I'm doing terrible. I hope you guys are still at least enjoying it somewhat. I hope there's at least one person watching right now because I feel bad, man. I feel like I'm playing so terrible. And I feel like it's I feel like it's probably not super fun to watch that for nine innings, you know? Jammed. At least it's not a strikeout. Why why is that like a success for me? Yeah, at least it's not a strikeout. No. 
It needs to be hits, man. I need to be doing better. I honestly don't know if I, I... I feel like I have not faced somebody this good at, like, pitch tunneling, man. He throws pitches so perfectly that I feel like I need to swing at him. All game. That's a dot, man. I, I, uh, finally, there we go. Okay. That one felt so much better. That, like, I, that at bat and sequence of pitches and my reactions and stuff felt, felt better than anything I've done so far today. And I don't know what was different. I wish I could figure out what was different so I could replicate that. <laughs> I'm not late. I was looking for it. That's exactly the pitch I was looking for, and I'm still late. I, I do not feel late on that. Yo, like, I, I understand that I am late, but I don't feel late. One pitch, one out here, bottom of the seventh. Striking out Babe Ruth. Striking out Brian Reynolds after seven. Only thing that's happened for either team is a Mickey Mantle solo home run for our opponent, man. I struck out? What? Oh, I did not feel like I went. Yeah. Um, I'm down to my final four outs. I feel like I've struck out more this game than my last. I don't know how many, man. This is crazy. At least it wasn't a strikeout. Down to my final three outs, though. We're three outs away from being shut out in this game, man. This is crazy. One pitch, and I forgot to take out Aaron Loop, and it's a leadoff double. I can't afford to allow any more runs, man. I can't even come back from one. As that's that's only the third hit I've allowed this game, too. And that one wasn't even hit well. Like, he had late timing and everything like that. Yeah, striking out Mookie, man. I'm sad that we left that pitch down the middle to the leadoff hitter. Because, like, I haven't pitched poorly at all this game. Striking out Adley Rushman, back to back. The only potential good news of the game... Besides us only allowing one run is that DeGrom's out because I have not been able to hit DeGrom today Now the issue is there's plenty more pitchers that I struggle against and there's a good chance We see at least one of those dudes out of the bullpen in the top of the ninth inning Striking out David Ortiz this game has almost felt like it's on legend difficulty the PCI seems a little bit too big to be legend for me but like I have not had a Hall of Fame game like this in a while where both of us, me and my opponent, both my opponent and I have struggled this poorly, right? Like, I haven't experienced this in a while, but maybe we're just both having a bad day today. I haven't played a Hall of Fame game in a minute, man. It's been at least a week for me, so I'm not really used to these pitch speeds, but usually I, I get a little bit more used to it as the game goes on. Ball four to Jose Ramirez. Lead off walk. The tying runs at the plate. I'm sorry, Schwarby. I love you, but Yadier Molina's coming in, baby. We got Yadier Molina now playing catcher, trying to come through in the clutch. Yadi misses it. If I would have just had the PCI a little bit higher, I think it would have been a two-run go-ahead homer, man. That's sad. Three and two to Nick Castellanos. Ball four. Tying run in scoring position. Go-ahead run on first base. As Tyler Matzek, four-seam slider, curve cutter comes in that's strike three that's a dot oh my god i'm down to my final ounce no man what a pitch i actually was ready for that pitch too and we just hit it straight to the shortstop man i hope you guys enjoyed the video even though not a lot of offense i hope it was still at least somewhat entertaining i feel like it wasn't so if you made it to the end let me know if you did enjoy it because i i'm a little bit disappointed with this one man i feel like i played bad and i feel like there wasn't like too much excitement at all throughout this game but i hope you did at least somewhat enjoy it like comment subscribe social medias all that good stuff thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day i'll see you next time peace out